So guys, I have my AirPods for over a year now. I picked these up like around late May of 2018. These are the original AirPods, not the AirPods 2, but pretty much the AirPods 1 and 2, pretty much the same exact thing. The only thing you get is the H1 chip, so it's faster pairing, faster switching. This one doesn't have the wireless charging capabilities. So I'm gonna break this review down into five parts. So we have design, connectivity, sound quality, durability, and comfort. So let's start off with the design. So the design of the airpods as you guys can see this kind of literally remind you of like dental floss so something that you know you could floss your teeth with and you can open it up and then you have the floss inside with the it looks just like that basically and you know this thing is very very small you can easily fit this in your pocket with no problem taking it out the case you guys can see you have this long stem a lot of people don't like this long stem this um apple should have probably shrink it down a little bit but for the most part, design wise, it's not the sexiest looking earbuds ever, but it definitely gets the job done. And that's just the goal of the AirPods, which I'm going to get to in a little bit. But on a scale of one to five, I'm going to give the design a 3.5. Honestly, they don't look ugly, but they don't look beautiful either. Case looks better, but the AirPods, when you put them in your ears, they kind of look a little silly you know what i mean they look kind of silly i wish these was in black or maybe lower down the stem but i'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of 5 not the best not the greatest but average and also i appreciate apple for having this little hinge so it's easier to open up with one hand so you can flick it up with one with your thumb now you do need the other hand to take out the actual airpods but AirPods can be easily lose. So if you take them out your ear and you put them down without putting them back in the case, these things, you can easily lose these. But God forbid if you do lose them, you have an app on your iPhone uh, called Find My iPhone. On iOS 13, they're gonna call it Find My. So you can actually play a sound if you'd like, and it's gonna play that sound, and it sounds like this. And also, I appreciate Apple for having this little hinge so it's easier to open up with one hand. So you can flick it up with one with your thumb. Now, you do need the other hand to take out the actual AirPods. But AirPods can be easily lose. So if you take them out your ear and you put them down without putting them back in the case, these things, you can easily lose these. But God forbid if you do lose them, you have an app on your iPhone uh, called Find My iPhone. On iOS 13, they're going to call it Find My. So you can actually play a sound if you'd like. And it's going to play that sound. And it sounds like this. So now, let's talk about connectivity. Connectivity on the AirPods is just flawless. Simply flawless. As soon as you get your AirPods, all you have to do is open up your case near an iOS device and just tap on connect. That's it. You're done. All your devices are paired. So you have your iPhone 5S, your iPhone 10, your iPhone 8, your iPad, your iMac. All your devices are going to be automatically paired. The best thing about it is as soon as you put the AirPods in your ear. So for example, I'm going to put these in my ear and I'm going to open up the control center to let you guys know that these things are connected. Or matter of fact, it's going to connect to my other iPhone. So as you guys can see right there. All I got to do is tap on it and it's automatically paired, but you don't even have to do that. As soon as you put them in your ear, they're automatically going to connect. So you guys can see that it automatically connects to this iPhone because this is the last iPhone that I listen to music on. Um, and if you want, you can even connect it to this iPhone instead of the other one. And it's going to connect soon and boom, voila. Now, the thing is with the new AirPods, it's going to be a little bit more faster to switch devices. So connectivity is A1. You're not going to be disappointed. You know, even my grandma know how to connect AirPods. This thing is just easy to do. And look, I took them out my ear. They automatically connect to the, um, or automatically switch back into the iPhone, as you guys can see. So I'm going to put them right back in my ear. And look, they're going to automatically connect just like that. Take one AirPod out and it automatically pause the music. You put them right back in your ear. It resumed the music. And also, listen for leak is true real quick. Now you can actually configure some settings, so you can change the name of your AirPods, you can actually change the action, so if you double tap on the left AirPod, you can get to the previous track, or you tap on the right, you can get to the next track, 
Now you can set it to anything you want. So you have Siri, play, pause, next track, previous track, or you can just simply turn it off. You can also turn off the air detection. I like to have that on. I don't know, I just have this at automatic. I don't even know what this is. I think you can have one microphone only activate on the left AirPod compared to the right. I just have it automatically switched to AirPod. Since we're here, we may as well get into the sound quality. So listen for the leakage. Um, I gotta say, AirPods sound just like the regular AirPods. You know, um, the AirPods that come with your iPhone, the wired ones. Honestly, they sound just like those. If not, the AirPods might sound slightly better. Um, so don't buy AirPods specifically for the sound quality. You're just gonna be disappointed. But you're buying the AirPods for the connectivity, the ease of use, and it just work. You know what I mean? It's a classic Apple product. It just works. I wish there was a little bit more of an improvement of the sound quality. More bass, more trebles. Just an improvement, I wish. And even on the AirPods too, you don't get that sound improvement. You just get a new chipset, which is the H1 chip compared to the W1 chip on the regular AirPods. Hopefully, AirPods 3 will see an improvement towards the sound quality. AirPods definitely do not sound bad. I, I could give you guys that, but I just wish it was an improvement. Now I switched my lens for this one because I'm gonna be showing you guys the durability. So I wanna show you guys all the micro scratches, just showing you guys how your AirPods may look one year later. So yeah, so zooming in really, really closely. As you guys can see, the AirPods, I didn't even clean them, I didn't do nothing. I just wanna show you guys exactly how your AirPods might look one year later. And they look clean. You might see some micro scratches here and there really, really closely. As you guys can see, if I hold it over the light, you guys can see those those little scratches. That's just, you know, that's what's going to happen. Now, inside, you might even have some wax and dirt and debris in there. And even the AirPods itself, you guys can see very, very closely. They look clean from a distance, but if you look very, very closely, they may look a little dirty. And that just depends on your usage, if you're going to use your AirPods heavy. Um, for me, I use my AirPods every single day. Every single day I use my AirPods. I even shower with my AirPods. But I definitely shower with my AirPods just to listen to music, maybe even talk on the phone. And they st these things still work. I even submerge this thing in water and it still works. Now, the sound is going to crackle, but you let them dry for a little bit, they're going to sound just like new, basically. So, in wear and tear, it doesn't look too bad. I did drop this thing, uh, not really too much, maybe one or two times. And putting them in, the Magnix is not wearing out. The Magnix is not wearing out no whatsoever. The LED lights is not going out. I even dropped it in my oil diffuser one time, and I was like, oh, I was so worried. But these things was working like a charm. Now, the sound quality muffles, and it sounds tinny, but you let them sit. Maybe if you want, put them in the bag of rice so it can dry a lot quicker. And then that's it. So in terms of durability, I'm going to give this a 4.5 out of 5. You know, this is not wearing out. I could do this all day. Next up, we have comfort. Now, these things never fell out my ears before. You know, I work out time to time, run the treadmill, I lift some weights time to time while I'm listening to music with my AirPods, and I never had a problem where these things fell out my ear, honestly. And it's no BS here. I'm telling you guys how it is. You know, everybody's ears is going to be different, but for my ears, AirPods, they just stay in my ear hole. That's it. They just stay there. And something about it, when these things rest in your ear, it just, it's like right here. So it's like, it's not falling out. But the best thing I could say, if if the regular AirPods that comes with your iPhone, if those are coming out your ears easily, then AirPods is just not going to be it. You know, they're not going to, they're not going to fit your ear because it's pretty much the same exact thing. In terms of this head part here, the speaker part here is exactly the same. You know, if you're having trouble fitting those in your ear, the wired um, AirPods, then these are just not going to fit. That's the best way I could say. But for me, these things fit perfectly. Like the battery life on these things, they last all day. And honestly, with, with the battery power case, you can probably even get even longer usage because, you know, you're not going to probably play your AirPods all day 24-7. But the battery life on these things are just solid. Um, I need to charge my AirPods case now, but look at my actual AirPods percentage is at 100. So... You get what I'm saying? So the AirPods, I don't even worry about the battery life with my AirPods. I don't even worry. 
Now, if my regular AirPods are dead, then, you know, you put them in the case and they literally charge so quick. Like, it's unbelievable how fast the AirPods charge. Um, I wish I can time it real quick, but my AirPods percentage is at 100 right now. But these things charge so quick. They charge just as fast as, like, the Apple Pencil. Give it, like, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, and you just, you, you're ready to use them again. Now, if anything, if you like to talk on the phone with these, you can do so if you put one AirPod in your ear. And then if this one dies, you can put them in and then, you know, take the other one. You know, you, you basically have unlimited battery life, I feel like, with these. So battery, I'm giving it a 5 out of 5. But overall, ladies and gentlemen, I am giving the AirPods a Puppa Puppa Pops approval. These things are just amazing. Now, I can see why people are saying this is the best Apple product of all time. You know, these things just work. You know, you, you tap on connect, they connect to all your devices. You put them in your air, they automatically connect to your last iPhone that you connected to. Um, so yeah, Apple is really going all out with the AirPods now because they see how popular these things are and they want to definitely make continuous um, updates. So yeah, um, the lightning port is over here on the bottom. I didn't even tell you guys that. But normally I charge my AirPods on a nice little dock stand that I have. I made a video on this last year and I still use it to this day. And yeah, that's the AirPods, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment. And other than that, it's your boy Pops and I'm out. Peace.